In Kalamazoo, major road construction along West Midge Avenue is putting a temporary damper on businesses, but that isn't stopping them from closing. New at 6, News 8's David Horak explains how this is more of a team effort. If you're hungry for a bite to eat for lunch or dinner for one of these West Midge Avenue restaurants, especially Shawarma King, you can't just simply turn left onto their driveway from the north side. You have to go down a little bit further, turn left onto White, navigate through that adjacent neighborhood, and then back here on the Whitcomb Street. Altogether, this is a major inconvenience and barrier that's affecting their business. But a different Kalamazoo business wanted to help them out because they were in a similar boat before. Last year, Park Street's construction on the city's north side cut off key access to the Victorian Bakery, co-owned by Maria Brennan. All of a sudden, you go from being extremely busy to maybe 20 customers a day. And it hurts, and it hurts really fast because you have employees who have mortgages. We have employees who are dependent on this salary to pay bills. When word spread on how West Nedge Avenues could affect Shawarma King, they knew what to do. We all started sharing, hey, this is, uh, you can get to sort of Schultz's and Bookbug and Sewalls by this way you can get to, and I did a separate post for uh, Shawarma King on West Edge. Within 48 hours, the post had 3,900 reactions and shared at least 2,200 times on Facebook. People showed us a lot of love. I mean, like, we, were, we were surprised. It's also personal for Shawarma King co-owner Mohen Tierra. He first started as a line cook in 2016 after immigrating to the U.S. from his war-torn hometown in Syria. As Tierra started venturing further, he also wanted to give his new home a taste of his hometown at a place not too far away. I worked at Victorian Bakery too. I was making some like uh, uh, pastries from Syria and then people like loved it and then they show us so, like, a lot of support. We just gave him a front and access for him to bake some product from Syria and help his family out. Only this time, it's his extended family returning the favor. The community is, like showed us incredible love. Like yesterday and today, like we are packed. Like, it's really nice. Like, I, I was surprised how, how good the people are in Kalamazoo. They like, they love to support us. I think we're lucky in town because we do have so many great small businesses, not just food businesses, but other small businesses, and they all support each other. Meanwhile, as far as this timeline is concerned, these guys are going to be busy at work along West Nadge Avenue until at least October. Details on all of that, including detours, are at woodtv.com. We're in Kalamazoo. David Horak, News 8.